What is up gamers? With BCS season just around the corner, I wanted to take a look at some decks that are pretty good that you can build for pretty cheap. For this, I made one for each nation. And big disclaimer, these decks are most likely not going to win you an event. But these are pretty good decks you can expect to do okay with at an event if you learn the deck. And, it, and these decks can be especially good in like a locals environment as well. So yeah, with all that, let's get into it. And first up is Dragon Empire with Nirvana Java. Java looks to utilize Trickstar and Prayer Dragons in order to cross over dress into different Virena forms. A primary one is Straw Virena, which gives itself and your Vanguard plus 10k power and your Vanguard triple drive. And then whenever it restands, it can restand all of your Prayer Dragons and all of your Virenas. Usually paired with it on the other side is Mirror's Virena, which can countercharge your draw whenever it attacks. And you can consistently find your pieces through the ride line, being able to guarantee a Trickstar and look for a prayer dragon in the top seven and there's also grail mirror which whenever you cross overdress over it then you can soul blast one check top seven and add a virena to hand and put one in the drop zone letting you really easily set up your mirror's virena and then we also have a Apologia, which can tutor for any prayer dragon out of your deck and also gives resist and draws a card whenever you cross overdress with it and then the rest of the deck are a few one ofs that are tutorable from Apologia. Like Call Modok, which can give additional power. Drahas, which can find more prayer dragons that you can cross over dress with. And Argneus, which can add a Virena from your drop zone to hand and counter charge whenever you cross over dress over it. Out of all the decks on this list, Nirvana Java is really the most complete out of them because all the core cards of this deck is really cheap. Next up for Dark States, we have Greedon. Greedon is all about utilizing your Desire Devils to put in the soul in order to restand your Vanguard and have constant drive check pressure through it. Our main grade 3 is Greedon Masks, which has the effect that you lose the game at 7 damage instead of 6, and you can remove a Greedon with a different name from your soul or drop zone in order to look at top 7 and add a Desire Devil to your hand. And then at the end of the battle attacked, if you have 3 or more Desire Devils in your soul, then you can put 3 standing rear guards in the soul to restand Greedon Masks, and get plus 5k power for the turn. Now, because this is a Mask deck, we have to play Skull Kemda and Mask of Hydrogram, which is where a majority of the cost of this deck is coming from. Skull Kemda allows you to search for Mask of Hydrogram to put in the hand, and also plays a Dragon Tree marker, which gives 5k power to the unit on that circle if your Vanguard is a Masks unit. And a Mask of Hydrogram is an order card that whenever you play it, you check top 5 and add any Masks or Dragon Tree unit to your hand. And then while it's in drop, you can put in the Soul and Superior your ride into a mask unit from your hand and if you oppose grade three you get to activate persona ride as well you'll be guaranteeing first persona ride basically every game and then for another dragon tree unit we have demon shredder it calls a grade one from your soul so through that we can grab gomon from our ride line which can give turn wide two card guard restrict whenever it goes in the soul but we also have Incane, which whenever it goes in the soul from your Vanguard's effect, you can Cat Blast 2 and give it plus 5k power and plus 1 drive for the turn. And there's also Kuviski, which can counter charge whenever you put it in the soul. Kuviski also gives power to whatever you call from an ability while it's in soul. And the latest support this deck got was a Rockray, which can call a Desire Devil from your soul for Energy Blast 3. And then whenever your Vanguard attacks, you give your Vanguard and itself plus 5k power. So overall, Greedon is a pretty decent pick. Next up for Brantgate is Dayusha. Dayusha is all about setting up your bases, which allow you to cycle into your Dimension Police units. And then also Dayusha itself, which is just a basically free multi-attack. So Dayusha, whenever it attacks, you counter blast one, draw a card, and then if your opponent's Vanguard is greater or greater, you give each of your different named Dimensional Robos plus 5k power for the turn. And then at the end of battle, it attacks, you can put a card from hand in the soul to restand it with minus two drive. But if you Persona Road this turn, and you don't have a Goyusha in your bind zone, you can bind Goyusha, which is the starter from your soul, in order to get plus one drive for the turn. Dayusha is just very easy multi-attack for the deck, and hitting a crit on this can be very scary for the opponent as well. A primary set order is die base, which you can rest it to energy charge one and put a dimensional robo from your drop zone in the soul. But if you play die base that turn, then you can search your deck instead of your drop zone. And then also you can energy blast two and rest it in order to call a grade two or less dimensional robo from your soul. 
So Dive Base is just a giant toolbox for the deck that really allows it to grab whatever it wants and makes it very easy to set up different types of plays. And then we have Die Lady, which can search it and is a 20k beater. One thing Die Base can grab is Die Battles, which while it's in Soul and your opponent's Vanguard is great to a higher and you have Die Dragon as your Vanguard and Die Battles the rest of your ride line in Soul, then you can put a card from hand into Soul in order to superior ride Dayusha from your ride deck. And then whenever it's placed from Soul by an ability, then your Dayusha becomes base 2 crit for the turn. So due to this, Dayusha is able to get to grade 3 first every game, which also allows it to Persona ride first every game. You also need Dimariner in the soul, which goes in the soul whenever you discard it during your turn, but can also be a 10k beater and blocks out Intercept if you call it from die base. And then we have Bipolar Nebula and Freezing Wave as a defensive package in the stack by having Bipolar Nebula be another attacker the stack can utilize, but also be able to search out Freezing Wave, which is a 10k shield for every rested base you have. Following that, we have the subscribe button. If you find this helpful, please subscribe. Next up though is Keter Sanctuary, which we are using Bastion for this. Now, Keta is just naturally an expensive nation because of the order package that every deck plays. And Bastion is surprisingly cheap now. A main grade three is Bastion Accord, which gives 5k power and resists to our front row grade three rear guards. And after it attacks, you can restand the rear guard. And if the opponent's grade three or greater, it also gets the skill that whenever it attacks, you can cam blast one to discard a Bastion in order for it to perform drive checks that battle. So naturally, we want to have grade threes as our primary rear guards. Our primary one is Grander Edge Dragon, which gains 10k power and shield if, you're, if our Vanguard's a Bastion. And whenever we reveal it through our ride line effects, it counts as two units instead of one. And then our main draw engine is Alden, which allows us to draw two cards for Counter Blast 2 and Soul Blast 1. But it also gets 5k power for the turn whenever it attacks. Outside of that, we have a grade 4 package through Bastion Prime, which can restand our board with plus 10k power after the tax. We have Sky Lizen, which can be a 15k shield if we have a Bastion Prime in our hand or on Vanguard Circle, but also can give two rearguards boost whenever we play it. So in tandem with Bastion Prime, being able to give our grade 3's boost makes Bastion Prime a lot more scarier. And to make it a bit more consistent, we also have Rondalina, which can go into Soul to give our grade 3's boost, but later on, you can also Soul Blast it to give one grade 3 boost. Now in step 4, there will be a new card that Energy Blast 3 in order to give your grade 3's boost. And that card will generally be better in this deck than Rondalina will be once that set comes out. And then for our non-grade 3s, we have Regular Star Dragon, which can retire and also gain shield. And we also have Sapien Owl, which can put something from drop into soul and can counter charge. And it's also just a 10k beater. And both of these become grade 3s whenever they're on the board, allowing them to be restored by Bastion Prime as well. Following that, we have Stoicaea, which we have Lascaria Veleno. Lascaria is all about utilizing blitz orders multiple times in a turn and in order to guard attacks and every time you guard an attack with a blitz order you get to draw a card at the end of the battle as well and then we also want Valeno units in play because Lascaria will be able to give power to all of our units and gain a crit if we have enough Valeno units in play so our primary rear guard attacker is Avathis which can restand after your vanguard attacks with plus 5k power we have Grudel which is a 15k booster but can also revive something whenever you call it Meliel which can Revive the unit or add a Blitz Order back to our hand for discarding a card. And then for our Grade 1s, we have Fiore, which top 5 searches for a Valeno or a Blitz Order and is also a 10k body. But the best card in the deck is Sidoraka, which at the end of your turn, you can blast 1 and send it to the bottom of the deck if you have 5 or more Valeno units, and then you add 2 Blitz Orders from your drop zone back to your hand. So through Sidoraka, we add our Evervescent Shadow of Dreamblade to our hand, which is a 20k shield for Energy Blast 2 and allows us to play more Blitz Orders that turn. So being able to continually grab this and use it each turn is very impactful for this deck. There is also one Watermelon Order in here, which gives your Vanguard plus 5k power for the turn whenever something is called or stands on your opponent's front row. So because of Shoujo Doji being so prevalent in this meta, this Blitz Order can make your Vanguard really high base power Power during the large multi-attack turns. And then for our last deck, which is for Lyrical Monasterio, it is Karmout. Karmout is all about getting our... I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. I'm just gonna say sour. <laughs> Karmout's all about getting our sour rearguards into play and getting Karmout really big and having the sour rearguards match her power. 
So Cormat herself can call two things from Soul and give herself plus 5k. And then whenever it attacks, you give three of your different Sour units power until they match Cormat's. And then you can also give your back row center rear guard the ability to attack from back row and perform drive checks. All of these Sour units are a part of our ride line. So we have the starter, which is just a vanilla. We have the grade one Hardia, which can put itself and another rear guard into Soul in order to draw a card at the end of the battle it attacked. And then the grade two, which is Almina, counter charges and soul charges whenever you target it from Karmat's effect. And then for specific support, we have Ramona, which can put itself in another rear guard into soul to draw a card and give plus 5k to Vanguard. Colby, which gives your Vanguard plus 5k power and draws a card. Orialis, which searches for a grade 2 or less sour unit and adds it to hand. And you can also put cards back from drop into soul and give your Vanguard plus 5k power. And then our big power booster for Karmat is Rusius, which gives plus 10k power to something whenever you call it. In the new Lyrical set, there is also a new rear guard that allows you to call a sour unit from your soul and also gives 5k power to your Vanguard, making it a lot easier to build boards. So between all of these cards, you can very easily get Karm out very big, very quickly. And it's not really unheard of that Karm out can get up to like 50 to 60k and then buffing up all the other sour units up to that much as well. And that is it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one.